Good morning, my name is Bethany and I'm the Housing Ambassador for Reed, Payne, and Brown Halls. And today I'll be answering some of your questions about living in those residence halls, so leave them up here for me to answer. Payne and Reed are actually located on Central Campus, which is located right next to Sanford Stadium, the Tate Student Center, and Miller Learning Center. Payne and Brown Halls are open for both spring break and winter break, which is great for international students, anyone out of state, or anyone who just wants a guaranteed place to stay over breaks. You actually do get your own bathroom if you live in Reed, and you can actually look at some 360 degree images on our website, housing.uga.edu, and go under the Reed Hall tab. The pros of living in Payne Hall are its location and its small building size if you like that. Pros of living in Reed Hall are its multiple study rooms and location, and then pros of living in Brown Hall are its really big rooms and Jack and Jill style bathrooms like O House. A con for Payne is that it is a smaller building, but I personally like that, but some people don't. Reed, the doors don't stay open, but RAs do a great job getting people out of their rooms, and Brown Hall is on Health Sciences campus, which is kind of far away, but people love it there. Short history lesson, Reed Hall is named after Thomas Reed, who got his undergraduate and law degree from UGA in the late 1800s, and then throughout his life served as editor for the Athens Banner Herald, and then in 1909 joined as secretary treasurer of the board of trustees. UGA has a first year live on requirement, so freshmen can live in any dorm, but in specifically these buildings that I've been talking about, there's a little bit of an advantage if you want to live on campus for another year, because you can go in room sign up and choose to live in the same building much easier. I actually live in a single room in Payne Hall and it's plenty of space for one person. It's got one bed, desk, um, an air conditioning unit, and two closets. And um, I got that because it was available during my appointment time for room sign up. So that doesn't usually happen because there are more double rooms than single rooms. Some great parts about living in Reed Hall are that it has an ensuite style bathroom connected to the room and it's a great location and that the rooms are a bit bigger than usual. Thank you to everyone who submitted questions and watched this Q&A and come back next week for more community Q&As and go dogs! Have a great day!